Frank Worrell in 1963, the spin threat of Ramadan and Valentine had been replaced by the much more physical one of the great fast bowling pair Wes Hall and Charlie Griffith. Both physically dominating, Hall and Griffith were an intimidating sight for any batsman. Hall had the classical action and was consistently fast and hostile, delivering the ball at speeds once measured up to 91 miles per hour. Griffith's chest-on action was to cause him controversy throughout his career. Many thought he threw his faster ball, though he was only called twice for it during his career. Where Hall was good-tempered, Griffith earned a reputation as the bad boy of cricket, not wholly justified. In that tour of 1963, the West Indies went one up in the first test at Old Trafford, where Lance Gibbs spun them to victory with match figures of 11 for 157. The West Indies went to Lords, seeking to consolidate their advantage. It was to prove one of those unforgettable test matches. The West Indies scored 301 with 50s from Rowan Canhai and Joey Solomon, and England replied with 297, just four runs behind. Ted Dexter, Ken Barrington and Fred Titmus were the main contributors. The West Indies then made 229 in their second innings with a brilliant 133 from Basil Butcher. And in the second innings, Colin Cowdery broke his arm batting against Wes Hall with the backdrop of the pavilion, no sight screen. It looked like a lost cause for England. I was very lucky to have captained. I wasn't on the field all the time because Charlie Griffith hit me on this left knee, which I've been feeling ever since. I can feel it. Right now, I've had another arth arthroscopy on the knee <laughs> just recently. So I didn't field all the game, and I was struggling in the second innings. But um, there were so many marvellous things in the game. Uh, weather interruptions, to an extent a rain-affected pitch, uh, bad light, tremendous Bowling, Brown Close taking all the flack from the fast bowlers, Colin Cowdery's broken arm, oh, well, close came, as you and of course, down, finally, the, the most extraordinary circumstance where all four possible cricketing results uh, were, were possible off the last ball. A win for either side, or a tie, or a draw. On the fifth day, poor weather delayed the start of play. England still needed 118 with seven wickets left, but Griffith, and especially Hall, bowled tirelessly as Brian Close alone stood defiantly in their path. And that's going down for four runs. Nice leg glide, approved by the people in front of the tavern. 203 for five, 31 wanted. And he's caught. He's caught by the middle of the short legs, McMorris. Wickets fell steadily, but the runs were coming too. The news was that Cowdery would bat if required. He's caught, he's out, he's caught at the wicket. We could see that without the necessity of an appeal. And he's caught, yes, he's caught behind the wicket by Murray. Closest out, caught Murray Bell Griffith for 70. England are 219 now for eight. Oh, well, that's all right. It's gone down to long leg off his arm somewhere, but it all counts. He's dropped his bat. Lance Gibbs feels it. Uh, about seven and a half minutes left and 11 runs needed. And that's uh, safe. It's dropped over the backward short leg and they just take one. Yes, they're going to run. They'll run everything now, I'm sure of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and... Hall has followed right up there to the whole 22 yards. Seven runs then to win, and Shackleton with four on his name. Four balls to go, seven runs to win. Hall coming in now. Yes, they'll take one there. Garfield Sober's fielding down there. This is now six runs to win, three balls to go. Six runs needed. Oh. Yes, they run! He's going to be run out! He must be! He'll never get there! He's out! He's run out! Shackleton's run out, but Cowdery can still come in. Shackleton is run out, and of course, the run doesn't count, so it's still six runs to go, and two balls, and Cowdery, with one hand, is going to come in. And the point being that David Allen has got the bowling. That's the thing, Bri uh, Brian. He hasn't got to take the strike. 
No, and he's going to block it, and the orders obviously are to save this game, which has come so close. And the last ball of this test match coming now. Paul will put everything into this. Look at him just gathering his last breath. Yes, they're sucking in there. And David Allen's heart beating, I no doubt, very fast. Last ball now. It's a draw! It's a draw. England have saved the game. Six runs short of victory.